Anderson gridiron classic between the Alabama champions and the Texas All-Stars with the score tied at 6-6. Six to six. Davis of Alabama kicks, and it's a beauty. Down to the Texas 21-yard line where it's snared by King of Texas, flinging Tom King. He takes the ball and comes up. It looks like he's pocketed. No, he's getting out in the open and across the midfield stripe down into Alabama territory. He's going down Boy, there. Down to the 45, and he's hit hard by Sloan. Right down on the 45-yard line. It's first and 10. Shifts over the right. King's back. He's going to throw a forward pass. He finds a man out in the clear, and it's thrown to Texas. on the Alabama 35-yard line. Oh, Mr. King, you're just in time for the second half. Tom's on his way for another touchdown. Got no time for that, Sally. I've got to use your phone. Hi, Pop. Hello, Tom. Hi. Hello? That's the king of the Texas Rangers. Get me Colonel Avery in Austin, official 5-0. Sounds like something big. It is. May I have the story? Oh, you'll have to get that from Avery, Sally. Hello? King, Boca Grande Station, Colonel. You were right about that sabotage ring, sir. Yes, sir. I've got a complete list of their operatives right here. We can crack it wide open. And that is just what we will do. Leave for Austin immediately. I'll have a National Guard plane ready to fly us to Washington, and we'll place your evidence in the hands of J. Edgar Hoover himself. Right. Bye. I gotta get a car. Take mine. Oh, say, Pop, see that my horse gets out to the station, will you? But I will, Tom. Better let me drive, Sally. Sally. I wouldn't dare until Colonel Avery okays it. Let's see how that son of mine is doing against Alabama. Take the canyon cut off. And it's Texas ball on their own 35 yard line. Fourth down and eight to go. They've got to make it this time if they want to hold that ball. Back to the Defense. Center's down over the ball. The shift's over the right. King and Ellsworth back. Here comes the pass in center. The ball goes back to King. He's following one man around. He's going to throw a forward pass. He does. Ellsworth takes it on the sideline. He's coming up there 5, 10, 15, and he's driven out of bounds. Another first down for Texas. They're marching goalward. Here's the shift to the right again. King is back. The ball goes back to slinging Tom. He's going to throw a forward. No, he changes his mind. It's a running play. Up the sidelines, and it's another first down for Texas. This boy slinging Tom. King is running wild this afternoon. If this sabotage case hadn't busted wide open, I'd seen that game. Sounds like I'm missing something. Sounds the Finch can make All-American this year. I expect so. You can get him from here easily. I won't miss. like they made another first down on that play. We'll get the exact yardage in just a moment. Yes, it's the first down. Now they're in the huddle. They cross the line of scrimmage. There's the play. The ball goes from Ellsworth. He's over right tackle, but the Alabama line holds. Nice defense by those Alabama forwards. It's second and 10 for Texas on the Alabama 30. There's Hurry up, I hear a car coming. It's a forward pass along Here it is. And it's going down into the end zone to Lackner. He takes it, and it's a touchdown for Texas. The Texas champions win the ball game to score. Alabama champions, six. I only hope Captain King of the Texas Rangers is listening to his son's triumph. Yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen, at this time we salute you, Captain King. I was all set to settle for a tie score when I saw you bust loose, Tom. I said, man, they can't stop him with a squirrel gun and sat down. Boy, those old Alabama boys sure had me tired. Yeah, me too, Stub. Fan mail's coming in early, Tom. Thank you, Coach. Bad news? Yeah. 
bad. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Tom, wait a minute. Uh, I'll see you later, Stub. I've got to go to Austin. Martin. What about the ranger? Uh, he's dead. Good. Hanger. Kurt, this is Barton speaking. Warm up my plane. I'm leaving immediately. Yes, sir. Contact the Zeppelin. Use my call number. Ask His Excellency to radio me on beam five and give me a contact point. Excellency, come in, Texas One. I'm speaking for Texas One, Your Excellency. He requests you to radio him on beam five and give him a contact point. At once, beam five. Z-100 to Texas One. Z-100 to Texas One. Texas One on beam five at 11,000. Contact point, please. Use contact point seven at 15,000. Contact point seven at 15,000. Captain, do you have the course? Yes, Excellency. Course seven, out at you 15,000. Stand by for contact. For the cause. What detained you? Through a stupid blunder. This very nearly fell into the hands of the American authorities. It is a complete list of all the new sabotage agents that we've established in the United States. You have done well. A slip now might ruin our chances to cripple American defense. Any difficulties with the work in Mexico? None. We're now ready to move into the Texas oil fields. Splendid. You will, of course, continue to keep me informed by radio. For the cause. For the cause. This is your father's old badge, Tom. It represents years of loyal and courageous service. See that you wear it as honorably as he did. I'll try to, sir. I know you will. And now I'll tell you what we know about the case. And then you better go to the Sentinel office and talk to Sally Crane. Ranger Tom from now on. I read about it in AP story from Austin. Mighty fine. Mighty fine. Thanks, Pop. Is Sally around? And she went over to Dobie Hills to get a story. They're bringing in a new well. I'll drive over there. See you later, Pop. So long, Ranger. That'll be the best idea. Yeah, if we start the power on the other side of the field, the wind will... Up 
operator. Get me the Boca Grande Ranger Station. Cancel that call. Never mind that call, operator. Go pick up that car. I should have plugged you the day I shot that ranger. There's a ranger coming. This is a plant out. by now. Maybe not. Tom, what are you going to do? Join after him. But you can't. A Texas Ranger has no right in Mexico. All right, then. I'm not going as a Texas Ranger. But that's even worse. You're going in there to... I don't think international laws were made to protect men like that. You take this and wait here. Okay at the warehouse? Yep, all quiet. What are you fellas doing here? The Rangers ran us out of Texas, but we'll be back there again tonight. Pancho, to kill. Get down to that warehouse and get way to Lynch about that girl. She knows too much. Yeah. Here's a go. You're the man I'm looking for. I'm taking you back to Texas. Stand trial for murder. You can't touch us, Ranger. You're in Mexico now. I'm not here as a Ranger. I'm here as a private citizen, son of Ranger Keene. Remember him?
think. I'm Tom King of the Texas Rangers. I should like to be certain you are a Texas Ranger, senor. I'm Pedro Garcia, Lieutenant of Rurales. Well, and who were these men? That man killed my father, Ranger Tom King. Well, he's working on a sabotage case. Sabotage? Oh, now I see. I don't understand. I'm investigating some of your countrymen who are suspected of sabotaging American oil properties in Mexico. I have a tip they are hiding back in the hills in an abandoned olive oil plant. Come, we'll go together, eh? I have no authority south of the border. You have two guns, which I may need. I have the authority, which you may need. It's what you call 50-50, uh, eh? That's fine. Bueno, vamos. There is the place. One guard outside. I wonder how many are inside. Get savvy. We must find out. Marvelous trick. What do you call it? It's a flying tackle. An old American custom. It works very fine. I think this Mexican rally Texas Ranger combination is going to work pretty good. Seems harmless enough. Perhaps there is something else here. Pedro. Kind of heavy for olive oil. Let's take a look. There's your stolen explosive. So, this is the stuff they use to blow up our oil wells. Adobe Hills Distributing Corporation. Adobe Hills, Texas. That's where they're sending it. That warehouse must have enough of this stuff in to blow up the whole Dobie Hills oil field. I've got to get back there as quick as I can. Listen. Where are Rallis?
worry any more about those explosives. That's right, but there's plenty more in that Dover Hill warehouse. I've got to head back there right away. I'm coming with you. You have helped me in Mexico, I will help you in Texas. That suits me fine. Let's go. Tom, I've been so worried about you. Did they get away? No, they didn't get away. Sally, I want you to meet Lieutenant Garcia of the Mexican Rally. Pedro, Miss Crane. How do you do? How do you do? I want you to go to the Dobie Hills field and tell the watchmen to double their guards around the well. Pedro can tell you what it's all about. But where are you going? Pick up the Rangers at the Boca Grande station. We can take this car. <laughs> Wichita, get a couple of boys to come with me. We're going to raid the Dobie Hills warehouse. Brad, Johnny, you heard that. Let's go. What's up, Tom? I'll tell you on the way. Here it is, Nick. Handle it carefully. Ranger, get going! That bomb gets here. Something is not right. When you work around oil wells at night, you use floodlights. I have seen it many times. You wait here. should be here by now. I hope nothing happened to the warehouse.
back. She hurts so. Poor Sally. Tom, they lock her in the tool shed. Come on, I'll help you to the car. 